So today I want to speak about avoiding certain foods while pregnant. Of course this is for women because men do not get pregnant. Alright so first on the list is high mercury fish. Now this normally deals with bigger fish so you're talking about shark, swordfish, albacore, you know certain tunas, marlin, just any big fish because the mercury content within the meat is higher uh, with that so you want to avoid high mercury that's found in these bigger fish second is raw fish and this is simply due to potential bacteria you know foreign invaders entering your body especially if your immune system is low and yes you could test that um, there are panels for that so you can test that out but uh, yeah just be very careful with anything raw but raw fish is second third is raw sprouts now this this deals with not just grains and legumes but also uh, greens in general um, salmonella that's just another you know it's just like the raw fish you also have E. coli uh, there's also other forms of bacteria that could be found there some forms of Klebsiella Giardi uh, these you want to just be very careful uh, especially with you know when the food is contaminated yes you know it doesn't have to be meat so you know meat alone it could also be uh, greens too that can be contaminated but of course meats tend to have more of a more of an outbreak uh, but greens can also be affected and so can uh, any kind of sprout. Now number four we have hot dog, lunch meats, uh, deli meats in general so these could be your sliced turkeys, hams, bacons, um, you could even talk, you could throw in jerky. Uh, the ingredients in these are just no 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 good you know a lot of preservatives, a lot of extra salt, Sometimes there's even sugar within these things and you're like what sugars in meat really it's not but um, Besides the whole protein uh, Synthesis or the protein if you eat too much protein it converting to glucose uh, besides that yeah, You just want to be careful with these kind of processed meats number five we have refined carbs slash well sugar of course, but mainly refined carbs you know you have all these aisles between uh, all these aisles in between the outer aisles and these grocery stores of all you know of all sorts it's a matter what name it has whether it's a Winn-Dixie, a Publix, a Kroger, uh, ShopRite, it doesn't matter uh, there's a lot of uh, processed carbs refined carbs there um, and sugar is always like within you know like the first three to four ingredients listed there some kind of sugar whether it be high fructose corn syrup or sugar itself or whatever uh, that is yeah these refined carbs they deplete uh, your nutrients um, and you know for instance sugar and vitamin C on the molecule level they are very similar so if you so if you consume too much sugar you can actually and the sugar doesn't get within your the cells of your body then um, you know to fuel your cells and the sugar is just running in the blood it's sort of like a, a vascular rusting going on there so it can rust your vascular system which but then affects you know your heart and a lot of people don't know that hey <laughs> should be careful with that because a lot of people blame fat and cholesterol but they don't look at the sugar I'm talking about refined sugars here you know as the problem and and they wonder well you know how like how is this possible well like I said before glucose in the blood no bueno glucose in the cells that's a little better 
you know, especially if you're using that as your main fuel source and you're not on key, uh, on running on ketones. Uh, and then the last one, we have rice and grains. And mainly this is because of the phytic acid. And these are the bubbles that appear when you soak these rice uh, or grains of all sort, like kamut, amaranth, uh, millet, uh, yeah, just all of the sorts of certain grains you can soak them you know less time some require longer times you would soak and then you would sprout and how you sprout you pretty much after you soak them you know and you know during the soaking process you could put a little bit of vinegar you could put baking uh, powder baking soda powder too uh, kind of helps you with that um, but even just normal water you know you just you would soak it you would after a while, you would rinse it, put new water in, let it soak a little bit more until you reach that, you know, some of them, you know, it could be eight hours, to get a whole day, 12 hours, whatever it is for that particular green. Uh, then after that, you would pretty much let the grains kind of sit, like when they're kind of wet, but you wouldn't have them in water. They would just kind of like, you kind of cover them like with a napkin or you can kind of cover them, you know, with some kind of container and they would begin to sprout it would begin to um, actually open up unlock the nutrient within the grain because when you uh, uh, consume whole intact grains without properly uh, you know with uh, preparing preparation of the grain then pretty much what you have is you you're eating something that's actually depleting nutrients um, from your body because it's, it's acting like an anti-nutrient because you're eating something without even accessing the nutrient within the grain. So, yeah, if you want to know more about that, uh, yeah, just look up the, the anatomy of uh, whole intact grains and uh, you'll see that. Maybe I'll put a picture up here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, those are your six uh, kind of things you want to avoid in foods. Or foods you want to avoid during pregnancy for you and your child uh, if there's any kind of diet that I would or eating style that I would recommend uh, I would recommend if you if you're gonna do uh, whole food plant-based you just gotta make sure you're getting all the nutrients which it's gonna be pretty hard so you're gonna have to supplement but uh, I'm not sure exactly what you have to supplement. You have to talk with your doctor with that and check up with them. Uh, and then for um, the other kind of diets that I have in mind, you have paleo and you also have healthy keto. Paleo is pretty much uh, everything that could be found by mankind before the uh, before agriculture took place. You know, with the whole farming and whatnot and you also have uh, key healthy keto which is high fat low to moderate protein and a lot of greens a lot of healthy greens there you have it I hope this video helps uh, and uh, please do like share uh, you know with your friends your family your co-workers and please do subscribe for some for some more insightful videos.